Hi, my name is Sam Lewis from MadeBySam.com and I'm here to talk about assembling a basic sewing basket. The first thing to worry about is absolutely nothing. All you need to start sewing is one needle and some thread. Anything beyond that is gravy. The needle you're going to want to get, you can find at any store, any sewing store, any general store. And what you want is called, they're called economy sharps. And they're about an inch and a half long. They look like this. They come about 20 to a package. Once you've got your needle, get yourself some all-purpose thread. Again, you can find it anywhere, and you're good to go. A good first project once you have your needle and thread is to make yourself pincushion because needles are sharp, they get everywhere, and you will poke yourself with them. A little bit of cotton batting, a little bit of fabric, you got your first sewing project. Next thing to worry about is a good pair of shears. Not scissors, but shears. You can find them in pretty much any uh, sewing store, general store, and the difference between scissors and shears is a fair amount of money and a lot of accuracy. After your shears, you do actually want real scissors. These are useful mostly for cutting out patterns, but they're scissors. You've got them already. Put them in your sewing basket. As long as we're on scissors, another thing you might find useful, especially if you're using a sewing machine, is a tiny pair of, I actually use uh, beautician scissors, but any small pair of scissors, you can get a lot of really in close to your work, do some detail work and not cut your fabric Then after that, possibly the single most useful thing for a beginning sewer is iron-in stitching. There's a bunch of different brand names for it, but basically it's fabric glue that you melt with an iron between two pieces of fabric you want to attach together. It doesn't work very well for the long term, but it will set stuff up so that you can sew it easily without having it slip and slide around. Your best friend when you are fixing things is a seam ripper. It's basically a knife blade with a long point which lets you take apart seams uh, whether they're someone else's and you're fixing something or your own and you put it in the wrong place you'll use this every time you sew. A good cloth tape is also very useful for taking your own measurements and also for measuring fabric you can use it on the straight you can also use it to measure around curves which is very useful for matching things up. One, trip, one tip with cloth tape measures is always use the same one. No two of them are going to be the same and as long as it's the same one for every measurement you're fine but if you change them in the middle you're going to find things don't match up and you won't know why. The final piece of equipment in my basic sewing box is a sewing gauge. It's useful for several purposes one is to set up very nice even hems. You can mark it has notches on each inch and it's also useful for measuring hems from the ground. You can get a nice even hem all the way around and when you're on the sewing machine you can also use it to set up seam lines easily without having to mark every single thing that you're doing. 